Hi guys, so as you know, the Genshin Impact official YouTube channel has been posting lots of Sumeru content like teasers and everything like that, and I'm pretty sure some of you are really excited to get a new region of Tabat. But as always, with a new update comes a lot more farming and a lot of things to do. But don't worry, if you are overwhelmed right now, I will try to put together the steps for how you can prepare for Sumeru and so that your journey into possibly 3.0 is going to be as smooth as possible. So I really hope you find something here helpful, and let's get started! So like every update, there is going to be a new banner. Hopefully we have a bunch of new Sumeru characters or maybe even reruns for your favorite characters, but now is a really good time to start saving up. If you are not pulling for Yoimiya or the weapon, then I think you should really save up your primo gems because there might be a character that you really want to wish for and you don't want to pass on this opportunity. Because just like the Ayaka banner when it first started, you might not want her right away, but later you might have the urge to pull for her. So if there's a character that you think you might want, start saving up now and you will definitely thank me later not only that but you also might want to start saving up your hero's wit and also your xp because there might be lots of other characters you're raising as well it might not be new characters but maybe spiral abyss might change and there's different team comps that you want to try out you don't always have to go to the same team comp every time and you might start building characters that are completely new to you as always save up your hero's wit as well as some mora because you might be raising artifacts and other characters and maybe even weapons another thing i like to do is save up my talent materials as you can see i've been raising lots of characters and not getting the best rewards for talents and I haven't been that lucky with getting the correct ones so I've been getting lots more repeats than the ones I actually need but also you might want to save up these because they're characters that you will need to farm for later on. I'm planning to do the Raiden boss this week so that's why I don't have any Raiden materials. The next thing I really recommend you do is clear up your quests. When I was getting into the updates I always had a bunch of quests. I had around 10 of them and it seems like my completely empty quest menu was just full by the time the update started. So if you have a bunch of these story quests, you have world quests, you have archon quests, you might want to get to doing those as soon as possible because later on, once you have the update, the quests will only pile up. And there's a possibility that you will get stressed or burnt out just by seeing all these quests. I know I did, so if you want to go ahead, do one quest a day, or maybe even take your time, you don't have to rush them right away, we still have plenty of time before the Sumeru releases, so try doing a few quests a little bit at a time, and just clearing up the quest menu so that you have a completely empty quest menu once you enter the new update, and you'll have a lot more new quests, and you don't have to worry about needing to complete previous quests to unlock the next quests. On the topic of quests, if you are the person who likes the character hangouts and likes the stories of the characters, then this is also a good time to do the hangouts because the Golden Apple Archipelago event is kind of at your own pace, just like the Inconomia event before, so you can explore it and take as much time as you need and there's not really a deadline. So if you have a little bit of extra time on your hands, you might want to get started on a few of these quests. I just finished the Beto one just a few days ago. I'm not exactly the one who pays attention to all the storylines. I just like to collect the rewards and unlock all the endings, although I remember that Goro's story quest was quite a memorable one, so if you haven't unlocked that one, I really recommend you check this one out. I still have a lot more hangouts to do, and these do give you rewards, so your time isn't completely wasted, and you get to learn a little bit more about the character if you're into that too. In Sumero, they'll be probably releasing more hangout quests, so if you want to get started on those, it's a good time to do that right now. Here we are back to my inventory, and right now I'm in the artifacts section, because now is also also, a very good time to clear out your inventory. There is possibility of a new domain happening in Sumero because usually that's what happens, so there might be new artifacts. You also will be doing lots and lots of exploration and opening chests. Hopefully they give us good rewards in these chests, but that also means that your artifact inventory will pile up filled with 1 star, 2 star, and sometimes 3 star artifacts. Now if you're a beginner player, you might not have a lot of these artifacts and that's completely fine, you don't need to touch that there, but if you're a late game player like me, you probably have a lot of 5 star artifacts more than you do these artifact enhancements. So I normally don't throw these away in the trash here, I use them as enhancement XP instead of just using this stuff. So if you know you have some artifacts that you want to raise and that are good artifacts, now is also a good time to raise them using those XP, as well as maybe even look through your 5 star artifact inventory just for the ones that you might not need. And if there are ones that do look good, you might want to lock them so that you can enhance them 
later when you have the XP. I know I have lots of artifacts here that I'll probably never raise or never ever need, so it's a good time to use those to enhance other artifacts and just clear this up so that you're not always at the maximum capacity for the artifacts, because that is really annoying when you're in the middle of the world or maybe you're doing an artifact domain and your artifact inventory is full and you have to clear it out a little bit, especially if you're doing a domain in co-op mode and you have to wait or others have to wait for you. If you're a late game player, you can check your inventory and go to the quest section and you might have lots of these things. Some of them are just memorable items from quests like these or these, but sometimes there are things that are connected to quests that might be hidden quests or undone quests. So if there is something that you might think is connected to a quest, you can look up this item sometimes on Google or on the Genshin Wiki, and it might lead you to a quest that you haven't probably done yet or might want to finish. And just remember that quests always give you Primo Gems, so if you want to get a few more Primo Gems, check the quest section of your inventory, and then maybe you might have a few things that you want to get done. A lot of letters or keys or even these actually have some quest connection to them where you can claim rewards from them. So if you have a lot of these things which you think are undone, the best bet is to look them up and see if they're connected to anything and then finish off those quests. This is just a great way to clear up this inventory a little bit more so that you aren't always digging through things if you need to do more quests in the future when Sumeru comes out. There are just some days where I am really bored in Genshin and want to collect things. Now I know that just sounds really strange because normally collecting things in Genshin running around the map can just be so time consuming, but I really like to finish off an inventory or a collection or an archive. So if you're the type of person who likes to finish off collections, you might want to try looking up in the interactive map where some locations are of missing items you still have yet to have in your archives. Go ahead and collect them to fill the slots up. I'm pretty sure that that in Sumeru, new resources are coming out and you'll need to collect a lot more stuff, but that's what I did. I went ahead and collected all these things to make sure I have everything, as well as some of the foods. I still have things connected to quests, but for the most part, I've collected all the foods. You might want to finish off these because there'll probably be new books as well coming out too. If you are already busy in Genshin, you do not have to collect all these things and archives because it is pretty time consuming. This is just for the late game players who've already finished everything. But if you are just someone who already has explored most of it, collected most of the chests, you might want to go check out archives just for fun, but sometimes it can be more stressful, but sometimes it's a stress reliever. That's really up to you, depending on how you want to play. There are some last things I'd like to mention before the update does happen. And that is when you are out adventuring in the new region, you will want to use the interactive map to mark down the things you've already collected. This really helps with exploration so that you're not repeating places and running around with a treasure compass or even wasting your resources to create the treasure compass if you think you only have a few treasures left. But it is really helpful to use the interactive map, especially for collecting the oculi. There's probably going to be Dendroculus, and it is really time consuming to run around and check places where it is, especially if you don't know if you've collected it or not. So use the interactive map to mark down chests, even puzzles, mechanisms, and especially the oculi once you've already collected them. If you realize you have 99% exploration, you can always check back on the map to see which ones you've missed and where you can go back and collect them. And the final thing I'd like to mention, which is just a small tip of mine, but when maintenance is about to begin, go over to the crafting bench and then craft condensed resin. You can get this recipe from Monster Reputation Reward, I believe. So before server maintenance is about to begin, craft the maximum amount you can of these. And then while maintenance is happening, you're going to get more resin, and then you're probably going to be almost at max resin once the maintenance is over. This is a really good option so that your resin is not going to be capped while maintenance is happening and you're going to be able to use this condensed resin in case artifact domains come out or if you need to use this condensed resin for anything. I am really excited for Sumeru and I hope you are too. If there are other things you might need help on, like saving up, I do have videos, I'll link them all in the corner. And if you're having trouble with character preparation, I'll also link that video. But for now, I really hope these tips have been helpful and you learned something in this video. Let me know, and I love reading your comments all the time, it just makes me so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for staying and watching this video, and I can't wait to see you all in our next video. So good luck on your polls, and I'll see you soon!